Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about a new release from Guerlain and this is their new L'Essentiel primer which was just released in Italy and I've been testing this primer for the past few days so today I'm going to give you a full review. I'm going to show you the ingredients of the primer and I'm going to tell you for who the primer is suitable, for who it's not suitable and also I'm going to show you how it applies on my skin so let's go ahead and get started. But before that, if you're new to my channel, welcome! I'm very happy to have you here. Please don't forget to subscribe at the end of this video and leave me a comment so I can say hi. If you're a regular, welcome back friends! I'm very happy that you're here. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite Guerlain products and have you tried the L'Essentiel foundation and what are your thoughts on the L'Essentiel foundation? Last year Guerlain released the L'Essentiel foundation and a lot of people have fallen in love with this foundation because it has 97% natural ingredients Unfortunately, it didn't work very well for my combination to oily skin because I felt it like it was a little bit too heavy for my skin and somehow my skin couldn't agree with this foundation. It was feeling a little bit oily. But anyways, now I was very excited to try this primer because this is a pore minimizing primer, which makes it quite suitable for anyone who has oily skin or normal to combination skin like me. So first of all, let me show you the packaging and the packaging is very beautiful. It looks a lot like the L'Essentiel foundation and it comes with a dropper. It looks like a serum. So here is the dropper and it's quite liquidy. It's not too liquidy, but it looks exactly like serum. And also I wanted to show you the box. And on the box it says that this is a pore minimizer shine control primer that visibly smooths the surface of the skin and protects from visible effects of pollution. It also has beauty boosting ingredients including porcelana cocoa bean that contributes to refining the pores and avocado extract that controls excess sebum. Now obviously this is a primer that is suitable for oily skin or for normal to combination skin. Obviously this is not going to be a product that is suitable for dry skin or sensitive dry skin because this is a pore refining primer. In my experience, usually people who have dry skin don't have an issue with dilated pores and this is a pore refining primer, so it's going to be suitable for anyone who has oily skin or normal to combination skin. I have normal to combination skin. During the winter it's more normal and during the summer it's quite oily. So I think that this primer is going to be quite suitable for me in the summer. It feels very light on the skin, it feels like a serum and it sinks completely into the skin. It doesn't look oily, it doesn't look greasy, it doesn't feel moisturizing, it doesn't feel calming, it doesn't... It basically disappears into the skin. It doesn't feel silicone, it doesn't feel sticky and it just creates like a nice base but kind of an invisible base. Um, I don't feel my skin smoother and it doesn't do anything to my pores. Like anyone who has oily skin, I have a little bit of dilated pores on the sides of my nose and right here I have a couple of dilated pores. It doesn't do anything for my dilated pores. So if you're expecting that this is going to shrink your pores or fill in your pores like the silicone based primers do, this is not that kind of product. It's not going to erase your pores. It's not going to minimize your pores, but it definitely makes the foundation more long lasting. So now as I'm talking, I'm going to give you a close up of the ingredient list so that you can pause the video and see the full list of ingredients. But as I'm looking at the ingredients list, this is a good primer. It has a nice formulation. However, it does contain alcohol. And the second ingredient is alcohol. Now, a lot of people are going to be afraid reading that the second ingredient is alcohol. I don't think that this is going to be a problem for the people who have oily skin or normal to combination skin. However, if you're dry, if you're normal to dry, or if you have eczema prone skin, this is definitely going to be an issue for you. And this is a primer that is, I think, suitable for people who have oily skin. So if you have oily skin, products that contain alcohol are usually not going to be irritating for your skin. The formulation is quite good, um, but also, it's not a miraculous formulation. I don't think that this is going to have a long-term effect and I don't think that this is going to minimize your pores over time because usually makeup never minimizes the pores um, long-term and usually it's very, very hard to shrink pores. It usually doesn't happen with makeup or creams. There are different 
types of products that are dedicated to shrink the pores and refine the skin texture. So this is not the kind of product that is going to refine your skin. I would say that this is a very good product if you want your foundation to last for a long time. So it is invisible, it sinks into the skin and you're not going to notice that this product is there. I've tested the primer for a few days and I've been testing it on one side of my face and on the other side I've been wearing the foundation without the primer. So when I'm wearing the foundation on one side of my face, I start feeling the difference and I start seeing the difference after five to six hours after applying the foundation. After five to six hours after applying the foundation on the side where I, where I don't have the primer, my skin, the foundation becomes a little bit cakey and doesn't look as good as on the side with the primer. So it definitely is a product that makes the foundation more long lasting. And on the side where I'm wearing the primer, my skin never gets too oily and I don't need to blot. And the good thing about this primer is that you can apply it on top of your skincare. It's not like adding additional layer of makeup, which is something that I appreciate because I don't like primers mainly because this is an additional layer and I don't like layering too many products like a primer, foundation, then you have probably contour, then bronzer, blusher, highlighter, etc, etc. This is a very, very lightweight product that you're not going to feel that it's there. However, it's going to make the foundation look a lot more long lasting. And I've been testing this primer with a few foundations that I like and with one foundation that I don't like. And to be honest, I see the difference mainly with the foundation that I don't like. So I've tested this primer with my favorite Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation with another favorite of mine, which is the Guerlain Lingerie de Pearl Foundation, the liquid foundation. And I've tested this also with Dior Backstage Foundation. I love all three foundations and usually with the Dior Backstage Foundation, I actually don't need a primer, so I didn't see much of a difference. Dior Backstage Foundation is very long lasting anyway, so I didn't see much of a difference. With the Guerlain Lingerie Depot, I did saw a difference. After six hours of wear, the Guerlain Lingerie Depot Foundation I could definitely see that on the side where I applied the primer, my skin was looking very fresh and the foundation was looking very good. On the side where I didn't apply the primer, the foundation was not looking that good at all. And with Chanel's Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation, after five hours approximately, I could see a little bit of creasing, a little bit, the foundation started to kind of gather into places and on the side where I applied the primer, the foundation was looking a lot better. And then I did see a huge difference with a foundation that I usually don't like, and this is the YSL All Hours Foundation. This is a full coverage foundation, it's quite heavy, and it, usually this is the kind of foundation that I don't like, because this kind of foundations, I usually like light coverage, and I, for some reason, my skin doesn't really agree with YSL All Hours Foundation. But when I applied the primer, I applied the primer all over my face and then I applied the YSL All Hours Foundation and it looked beautiful. It looked absolutely gorgeous. So with this foundation, I could see the difference immediately after applying the foundation. And I decided to use the primer all over my face because all hours from YSL is not my favorite foundation. So if you're wearing probably a foundation that has a little bit higher coverage, a primer is definitely justified and this one is good. Um, it made the foundation look very, very nice. So overall, I'm quite happy with this product. I like that it makes my foundation more long lasting. I'm definitely not going to be using it on a daily basis because I don't use foundation on a daily basis and I usually don't wear foundation for a very long time or I use foundation only here and there and then primer is not really justified but if you're a person who has oily skin or normal to combination skin and if you want to wear a foundation all day long I would say that this is a very good product because it's not adding an additional layer of makeup it is very light and a little goes a long way I only need one drop to do my whole face you don't need to apply the primer all over your face generously like a serum you only need a little bit and I think that it works really nice. However, if you have dry skin or 
normal to dry skin, I don't think that you're going to appreciate this primer. Also, if you have eczema prone skin or if you suffer from rosacea, I don't think that this is going to be a product that is going to be good for you. Always make sure to check with your dermatologist if you have any skin condition like eczema or if you had eczema in the past or if you have rosacea, I don't think that products that contain alcohol are good for your skin. However, if you have oily skin, I think that it's not going to do any harm because you have to look, when you, when you see the ingredient list, you have to look at the whole formulation. It's not only you're seeing alcohol and bam, this means that the product is really bad for you. It, you have to be able to look at the whole formulation and you have to be able to look at um, and you have to be able both to evaluate your skin type. So I think that this product is really nice for people who have oily skin. And now a quick update. Two weeks after using the primer with a lot of different foundations, I can say that it works really nice with all glowy foundations. It works very nice also with the L'Essentiel foundation, which I normally don't like and it was making my skin a little bit oily. Using the primer fixes that and now I love the L'Essentiel foundation when I use it with the primer. Now one thing that I don't like about this is the dropper. I would prefer if this was a pump because as you can see as I put the dropper inside the bottle it gets a little bit messy so I would prefer a pump. So I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope this review was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave me a comment and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!